Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Um, I haven't been around for a while, I've been pretty flat out with work and stuff. But um, I thought I'd try out this cell that I had in mind ages ago. Um, it's basically just so I could try out the difference between your tubular style cells, having it like that, as opposed to this idea of having it like that just to see what kind of difference there would be. So I'm going to hook that up now and see what we can get. Okay, so I've got it set up vertically like that. Over here we've got our battery, voltmeter, which is just over 40 volts because we've got it on a charger. We've got our amp meter. And we're going to turn it on. I'm pulling 5 amps. Turn that off and on again so you can see. Got that sitting on a couple of bits of plastic so it's not hard on the ground. On. It's just, it's about 4 amps that's pulling. It's not too bad. Alright, now I'm going to spin it over and try it the other way. See how quickly the water clouds up. Okay, I've um, shifted it around so it's in the other position. I'm going to turn it on. We're sitting about the same, just under 5 amps. That's not a bad reaction. I would say that's slightly better than what it was before. I'd have to have a look back on the video. We're drawing about half an amp more. But I can't even see the cell anymore. Yeah, that's definitely a better reaction. I could still see the cell quite clearly in the water the other way. Just under 5 amps. 14 volts. I think it definitely warrants some further testing. I might make another two plates the same. And uh, try it with four plates, then I'll have some options, more options with um, trying neutral plates and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I've now got um, four plates in here instead of two. Uh, I haven't changed the water, I'm going to turn it on. Oh, straight up to 10 amps. There she goes. 10 amps still, 13.5 volts, yeah it's alright, it's nothing spectacular for 10 amps, it looks like a very similar amount to um, what I was getting on 5 amps with 2 plates, I'm going to turn it off again, and try it again, Right on 10 amps. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's alright, but for 10 amps, it looks kind of similar to what I was getting before. A little bit more, maybe. What I want to try and do is go back to two plates and up the amps and see what I get. Okay, we're back to two plates, and I've um, changed the water a little bit. Tiny bit more electrolyte. I'm turn that on. Just try 10 amps. Right, look at that. That was a good bang. I'll turn that off again so you can see that again before the water gets too cloudy. So, the last time I was running four plates, 10 amps. This is now two plates running at 9 amps. Just see the plates to get that reaction. Turn it on now. Yeah, good explosion. Wow, look at that. Sitting right on 9 amps. Yeah. 
it's a good reaction. I have to put my um, clear container together so that I can see it from the sides. I might do that later today or tomorrow. Until then, that's my new cell. Uh, maybe I'll call it uh, the U cell for obvious reasons because it's shaped like a U. Cool, see you later. Uh, just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd rank this thing up to about 19, 20 amps and um, have a bit of fun with the Bunsen burner here. Let's turn it on. Wee. Clouds up straight away. Big bubbles. Whoa! Big bangs. Whoa! Oh. Crazy. That's sitting um, just shy of 19 amps. Oof. Turn that off. That's putting out too way too much.